My best friend tried to get my husband to cheat with her. TLDR, my best friend of 10 years came over drunk and tried to get my husband to cheat on me while I was out of the house doing her a favor. Here's the whole story for some background. My dog had passed away in a traumatic medical event about a week prior, so I was an emotional mess, as was my husband. Since we can't have kids, this dog was basically our child. A different friend, Mary, came over with her family dog to offer condolences. We went to the store for dinner supplies, leaving my husband at home. While we were gone, Anna, my best friend, showed up with her little sister, Lucy. Anna walked right in the door without paying attention, causing Mary's dog to get out. Anna made no move to catch the dog and just watched it run off. I got a call from my husband, who was in tears, having a panic attack because he couldn't find Mary's dog. Mary and I rushed back, found the dog, caught it, and got back inside where Anna was waiting. Anna was too drunk to drive, so I called her partner to come get her and then took Lucy home, leaving Anna and Mary at my house with my husband. My husband was in our room, door closed, coming down after the whole ordeal. I asked Anna and Mary to let him be. I was gone maybe 20 minutes to drop Lucy off a few blocks away. When I came home, my husband was sitting in the living room with Anna and Mary. Anna was crying, Mary looked uncomfortable, and so did my husband. I spent the next hour comforting Anna because she was nearly hysterical, claiming she felt so bad for my loss. It was a lot. I was already offended and over her at this point because here I was, comforting her for being too drunk when I really just needed a friend. Her partner finally came and left with her. After they were gone, my husband told me that Anna came onto him while I was taking Lucy home. He said she was on her knees, trying to get his pants off, saying, I'll make you feel better, but please tell no one about this. He had to eventually shove her onto the floor and go sit with Mary to wait for me. Mary confirmed this. The next day, I texted Anna saying I knew what she did and did not appreciate it. It blew up because Anna thought I was overreacting. She accused me of being immature because I told her I no longer wanted her around, nor did I trust her, and that if she didn't tell her partner what happened, I would. She claimed I was ruining her marriage if I said anything. She didn't deny what happened, she just thought it was no big deal. She finished her apology with, sorry, but I was drunk. I told Anna to step off and leave me alone. She went on a tangent, saying she would be here when I was ready to apologize for treating her badly. Later, Anna said she had been verbally and emotionally abused by her partner, and my husband was nice to her and made her feel like a human being, which caused her to act that way. She thought she was helping him by trying to blow him when he was down and having a panic attack. She told me that I needed to forgive her and she wanted to be friends but only if I could let the past be in the past. I told her to kick rocks because I would never trust her, and not once had she considered my feelings in any of this. I told her that none of her half-assed apologies were enough and that I didn't have time for her dumpster fire. I told her to fix her life and figure out a real apology, then maybe we could talk about a fix. She later responded that I was a shitty friend anyway. I blocked her. She has done nothing but go to all of our mutual friends, telling them what a horrible person I am and how I've just been using them, for their kids, because I can't have my own. It's exhausting. It's frustrating. And I don't know what to do. Her niece is my godchild, so finding a way to be civil is important, but I don't know how I can ever be in the same room as her again. How can I make this work? Edit, we are no contact, and I don't want to make a relationship with Anna work. Her partner knows and chose to forgive her, actually siding with her and blocking my husband and me because we were ghosting and refused to allow her wife's face in our life. I honestly don't care to lose them. I'm just not sure how to deal with possibly running into her because she is related to my godchild. Our mutual friends know the truth and have mostly ended their involvement. The real issue I'm having is coming to terms with either having to see her in the future and being civil because I care about my godchild or completely cutting ties with the entire family and losing my godchild.